highly anticipated new Toyota Tacoma is hitting the market, fully redesigned and re-engineered for 2024. And quite frankly, I'm buzzing for it. Here are the reasons why. Engine and performance specs. The 2024 Tacoma is saying goodbye to the less powerful engines of the past. Now, all the Tacomas will have a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine with different tunes and power outputs. On the base SR Tacoma, the engine is paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, delivering a decent 228 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque. It's not going to break records at the drag strip, but it's a big step up from the old four-cylinder's 159 horsepower and 180 pound Feet. But the higher trims get even nicer power upgrades that bear the name iForce. So the Midway iForce engine tune churns out 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque when paired with the six speed manual transmission, and 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque when paired with the eight speed automatic. This automatic option offers the same horsepower as the previous V6 but with more torque. But the iForce Max engine tune rules them all in the Tacoma lineup. It combines the same two 2.4 liter turbo engine with a 1.87 kilowatt hour nickel metal hydride battery and an electric motor. That's right, the Tacoma is going hybrid for the first time ever. This setup cranks up the power to an impressive 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet, which is top of its class. Toyota hasn't shared any fuel economy numbers yet, but looking at the Lexus RX with both powertrains, the hybrid city mileage is about 29% better than the non-hybrid. This powerhouse of an engine is standard in the new Trail Hunter and the beefed-up TRD Pro. In summary, all these engine options provide more torque than before and should offer better fuel efficiency. We're still waiting to find out the exact 0-60 miles per hour stats for these engine versions, but the estimates are between 7.6 seconds for the base model and maybe 5 seconds for the most powerful iForce Max. We'll see. Punchy exterior. The 2024 Tacoma takes its engineering blueprint from the larger Tundra and Sequoia, underpinned by a scaled-down version of the same new TNGA-F platform. This means the new Tacoma is basically built on a boxed steel ladder frame chassis that's tough enough to handle off-road experiences yet features aluminum body parts to strike a balance between durability and agility. So the new Tacoma is an adventurous beast, sporting a brawny new look that takes cues from the larger Tundra. It features a beefy front grille, durable all-terrain tires, a solid steel rear bumper, and even an added snorkel air intake for improved engine protection against dust and debris. If the current Tacoma shares mechanical bits with its predecessors, this 2024 new beast breaks new ground with even more innovative features and a diverse lineup of body types, trims, and Easter eggs. We don't even know where to begin. For example, the new Tacoma's taillights cleverly integrate a switch that operates the tailgate. A power-operated tailgate is a luxury feature usually reserved for larger trucks, which is now available in this beloved mid-size truck. What's more, the tailgate can be conveniently controlled via the key, the embedded taillights button, or even even with a simple nudge of the knee, making it easy to load the bed when your hands are full. Contemporary interior. Inside the new Tacoma, you'll find a bunch of cool stuff. For starters, the interior feels fresh and modern, with a good-looking design and plenty of sharp digital screens. It reminds you a lot of the recent updates in the Tundra and Sequoia. More gadgets, but still looks ready for an adventure. Each trim level gets its own special touches and features, so it's kind of hard to pin down exactly what the inside looks like, but let's try. Right in the middle, there's a touchscreen. It's 8 inches on most versions, but the fancier limited TRD Pro and the Trail Hunter models have a big 14-inch screen that really stands out, and you might be able to add it to the cheaper models too. Below the screen, there's a set of climate controls with real buttons and dials, which is great because it's easier to use than digging through menus on a screen. That big gear shifter feels nice and sturdy, giving you confidence. All the vehicle system buttons are big enough for you to handle even with working gloves on. The steering wheel is the same as the Tundra's, but the TRD trim features a cool red mark at the top so you can see which way the wheels are going at a single glance. Now, about the TRD versions, most Tacomas keep it simple with black or gray inside, but the TRD Sport spices it up with colors that match the outside of the truck. The TRD Pro, though, goes all out with red everywhere. Stitching, door panels, glove box, and even the seats. It's not over the top, just some fun details that make it stand out. 
Size-wise, the new Tacoma doesn't feel a lot bigger than the old one. Trucks like the Honda Ridgeline and the Jeep Gladiator have more room, but you can still fit tall folks in the Tacoma if they don't mind getting a bit cozy with each other. In the TRD Pro trim, however, it might feel like an even tighter squeeze. Moreover, every Tacoma trim benefits from a raised seating position, which gives you more visibility and confidence, especially on off-road terrain. A heads-up display comes standard on the limited trim and above, with heated and ventilated front seats. Speaking of seats, they've got shock absorbers built in. <laughs> yep, let's get some more details here. Front seats with shock absorbers built in. Climb into the back seat of the Tacoma and you might notice something unusual in front of you. Toyota has fitted the TRD Pro with these special isodynamic performance seats. Basically, the front seats have air over oil shock absorbers built in the back that, according to Toyota, should help reduce the up and down and side to side body movement while off roading. Moreover, the Japanese manufacturer states that the setting can be adjusted according to the weight of the seat occupants and their personal choices. It also has the option to be turned off. The seats might seem a bit much at first glance, but the concept is pretty neat, don't you think? Diverse lineup of trims and body styles. The Tacoma really stands out in the crowd, offering a wider variety of body styles and trim levels. You can get it as a four-door double cab with a choice between a short five-foot bed or a long six-foot bed. You can also opt for a two-door extra cab that comes with a six-foot bed, available on the SR and the SR5 models, and it's the only option on the pre-runner. The Tacoma 2024 also offers more trims to pick from, including the all-new Trail Hunter, geared towards overlanding, and the comeback kid, the pre-runner. A little heads up here that we think you should know. Toyota likes to call its trims grades, so for 2024, there are eight different grades. But let's zoom in a little more on the two new kids on the block. The Trail Hunter sits near the top of the lineup, with a starting price of approximately $48,000, and it's all about hitting the trails and rock crawling. It's a double cab only, kicks off with a hybrid high-performance engine with four-wheel drive, and is kitted out with some serious gear, like ARB's Old Man Emu forged monotube shocks with remote reservoirs, 33-inch Goodyear Territory RT tires, a steel rear bumper, tow hooks, a snorkel for better air intake, and even a built-in compressor to pump your tires back up after a hard day rock climbing. The Trail Hunter also has hot stamped steel skid plates over the transmission and rear differential. So in a nutshell, the Trail Hunter is more about tackling the untackled, while the most expensive top of the line TRD Pro grade has more desert racing vibes. The TRD Pro is also fresh for 2024, sporting a new look and beefed up mechanics. It's got a tweaked suspension with Fox dampers, red aluminum forged front TRD upper control arms, bigger brakes, big off-road tires, and more height off the ground. Four wheel drive, an electronically controlled two-speed transfer case with high-low range, active traction control, and an automatic limited slip differential are all a part of the deal. That deal should start from $50,000. But what about the comeback kit, the pre-runner grade? Well, this trim has always been the kind of truck you'd use to check out an off-road racetrack before the race. It's set up for rough stuff with special off-road modes, including a front suspension lift, twin tube shocks, 17-inch wheels with tires ready for anything, and an electronic locking differential to keep you moving. The pre-runner should set you back from about 30,000. Towing and payload capacities. Toyota hasn't spilled all the details on towing and payload for its Tacoma configurations yet, but we do know a few things already. So if you go for the Tacoma with the iForce powertrain and automatic transmission, you can tow up to 6,500 pounds, which is a bit lower than the previous model's 6,800 pounds. Opt for the hybrid iForce Max and the towing capacity should be a bit less at 6,000 pounds. Now, while Toyota has taken away a bit on towing, they've given a bit more on payload. The max payload has gone up from 1,685 pounds to 1,709 pounds. It's a small bump, but it's noteworthy because the old number came from the basic four-cylinder extended cab, while the new number comes from the beefier hybrid powertrain setup. This suggests that the more standard versions of the new Tacoma could see even better payload numbers when Toyota decides to reveal them all. Technology and driver assistance features Toyota knows that while off-roading is cool, the Tacoma needs to be just as good for everyday use. That's why they've packed it with plenty of tech and safety features. The new touchscreen, which you might have seen in the new Tundra, is way easier to use than the old system in the Tacoma. Every model comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, and if you go for one of the higher trims, you can get a wireless Qi charging pad. Other available goodies include a 10-speaker JBL sound system that comes with a Bluetooth speaker you can pop off the dashboard and take along with you, you know, to listen to music while camping in the wild. When it comes to staying safe on the road, all 
All Tacomas are equipped with Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. This suite of driving aids means even the base SR model has adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with auto braking, road sign recognition, and lane departure alerts. There's also a new proactive driving assistant that lowers the adaptive cruise control speed before upcoming curves, and a steering assist that helps prevent you from drifting out of your lane or off the road. Electric Taco? Toyota hasn't said anything official about an electric Tacoma just yet. However, remember their pickup EV concept from 2021? Now it seems like it could be an electric take on the new Tacoma, with Toyota starting to expand its electric